matrix addition okay so here let's have our memory starting from 30 let's keep here uh, say number of uh, rows and at location 31 let it be number of column okay so we are planning to number of rows m and the number of columns n so we are planning to have a metric addition of order m by n okay so the number of elements in this uh, matrix will be number of elements will be m into n so we need to bring m and n to a and b then perform uh, multiplication so number of elements in the array we can keep in register say r7 okay then uh, um, okay so each matrix is having uh, r7 elements we need to perform the addition also uh, this many times so we need to implement a counter also counter with the same as number of elements uh, uh, m into n so we need to initialize two registers r7 r6 with the product m into n let's keep the elements in the next consecutive memory locations starting from 32 33 34 etc here first matrix first element second matrix uh, uh, sorry first matrix second element first matrix third element etc etc once we finish m into n location next so this total entries from here will be m into n so 32 plus m into n uh, 32 plus m into n onwards we have the second matrix first element uh, second matrix second element so this is the clue 32 so starting index of the first matrix is 32 and starting index of the second matrix is 32 plus mn okay so that is the way how we can implement the vector, vector addition and getting the number suppose we have a, a matrix say uh, 10 20 30 40 50 60 okay so this is our first matrix and say let it be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, this is the second matrix. We need to perform the addition between them. So 10 plus 1 is 11, 20 plus 2 is 22, 30 plus 3 is 33, 40 plus 4 is 44, 50 plus 5 is 55 and 60 plus 6 is 66 we need to get this okay so 10 is reference starting from memory location 32 and we need to get the data after 32 plus total element is 6 32 plus 6 38 so this will be the reference index of the second matrix starting from 38 okay so every time we need to add a into b from the first matrix to get the corresponding element in the second matrix okay so let's check how we can implement this operation so first let's begin with the pointing to the first memory location move r0 comma hash 30 then get that data to the accumulator move a comma at r0 so a is equal to m now okay next increment to the next memory inc r0 then get the data to the b register move b comma at r0 so b is equal to n now then perform mul a b okay so Uh, now this accumulator will be having accumulator is equal to m into n we need to keep them to the r7 and r6 so move r7 comma a move r6 comma a r7 for getting the reference to the second matrix and r6 as a counter okay now let's begin our answer from 60 okay 60 61 62 63 64 65 onwards we will have our answer so then uh, so this is the uh, 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 reference uh, we can keep from uh, keep to the memory say register r1 to point to the uh, 60 onwards so move r1 comma hash 60 so the reason is answer from 
60 okay so move r1 comma 60 instead of uh, r1 let's keep this uh, in b register time being let's keep it in b register so move b comma hash 60 result from 60 onwards okay now we are here at the first uh, column memory so means 31 we need to uh, move to next memory location so inc r0 then get that data move a from at r0 move a not from at r0 we need to get the reference of the second matrix first element so move a comma r0 then add a comma where we have our uh, uh, total number elements it is in r7 so add a comma r7 then move that data to the uh, r1 uh, uh, move a comma r7 move that data to say r1 register so move a comma so move r1 comma a so now r1 is reference to second matrix r0 is reference to first matrix we need elements first element from the first matrix and element from the second matrix so we can get the data from r0 and r1 as a uh, pointer okay so how we can get the data from the first memory first matrix first element that is by move a is a comma at r0 so now accumulated content is first element of the first matrix we need to add first element of the second matrix second matrix is pointed by the memory sorry so that by the register r1 so we can use the instruction add a comma at r1 so r1 is now pointing to this location r0 pointed by the memory is in accumulator will perform the addition that is nothing but 10 plus 1 okay so add a comma at r1 now we need to put that result to memory location 60 but we can use only r0 and r1 as a memory pointer so r0 and r1 are already used so to use as a pointer we need to save that data r0 to some memory location so for that move 20h comma r0 this is just r0 saved r0 is the reference of the first matrix that time being we saved to 20h location now move r0 comma b where b is the reference index of the answer matrix b is the reference index of the answer matrix now accumulated content is the addition result now we can move move at r0 comma a the sum of 10 and 1 is moving to the memory location pointed by b which is 60 that is 11 is now copied to 60 memory location now we need to increment the to the next memory location for keeping next answer inc b the, now b is 61 we need to get back the reference of the first matrix so for that move r0 comma where we saved first reference location it's 20 so it is returning or getting it back from the 20h location now we need to perform this action again so we need to check the counter is decreased and whether reached zero or not so d j n is z which counter is r6 so r6 comma loop where must be our loop loop must be increasing the r0 value we need to point to increase to 21 okay or uh, next memory the second element of the first matrix so inc r0 is the loop so accumulator will uh, get the data um, say that r0 to accumulator then we will add the number of elements we will get the reference index of the second element of the second matrix then we will get the data to the accumulator first second element of the first matrix to the accumulator we will we are adding second element of the second matrix and we are serving we are uh, saving the data or our first reference of the um, sorry reference of the first matrix to r20 hm then getting the number of data of for, uh, for for getting the uh, memory location for storing the result and we are repeating this process until we perform m into n times this action then last we have stop s jump stop then finally end okay so this is the 
uh, what you called uh, operation for uh, performing matrix addition so simple properly we need to get the reference to the first memory so, sorry first matrix second matrix and result matrix why are we keeping the why are we saving the memory pointed for the first memory first matrix we do, we are having only two reference matrix uh, reference registers for handling indexed indirect addressing mode r0 and r1 so we cannot use as a uh, r2 register as we are pointing to the memory location by means of index indirect addressing mode so i uh, saved that memory location r0 content to memory location so let's check this program working in uh, work or not in keel microvision so keel microvision program already i have entered here now that program running is uh, matrix.asm save your program then run your program okay then debug your program after then we need to check what are the number of rows number of rows is three number of rows three number of columns two so let's keep the first element first element was 10 20 30 40 50 60 okay so 10 20 30 40 50 60 then we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so these many mem elements are in the second matrix and uh, 10 to 16 first matrix let's do the addition so time being result it is at 60 which are all zero now so run your program stop your program con open the something when the wrong error con open the file let me check what is there what was the error loop loop zero error zero warning once more matrix dot asm build dot asm debug yeah it's loaded now so we'll reset number of rows three number of columns two first element ten 20 30 40 50 60 01 02 03 04 05 06 okay let's do run our program stop your program yes our result is 10 plus 1 11 20 plus 2 22 30 plus 3 33 40 plus 4 44 50 plus 5 55 60 plus 6 66 okay and so our program is working